Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and be showing you how to install the eTrailer Angle Iron Spare Tire Carrier. So as the name suggests, this is going to mount up to the angle iron of your trailer. One thing you might have run into before with a trailer that has these angle iron side rails is that there's few options for spare tire carriers. This one is going to clamp around that angled metal using these heavy duty steel brackets and give you a lot of adjustment for different tire and wheel sizes too. So you can move this around as it best works for your trailer and always have it spare on hand, secured down, ready to go. So this is going to work with 12 to 15 inch wheels and a maximum tire width of eight inches. This is going to mount up to the carrier through two of the holes on your wheel using included hardware that comes with the carrier and will work with a variety of different bolt patterns, including four on four, five on four and a half, five on five, six on five and a half, and eight on six and a half. As far as the dimensions of angle iron this fits, it'll fit a length of anywhere from an inch and a half up to two inches. That just is the amount of adjustment that this piece has here to actually clamp on. And then the overall thickness of the metal can be anywhere from an eighth of an inch up to a quarter of an inch. Again, accommodating for this part of the clamp right here, making sure it fits. As far as install goes, that part's gonna be pretty straightforward. There's a few steps for assembly and getting this sized up properly to your trailer, but it's really straightforward and we'll walk you through it right now. To start off your installation, find the spot on your trailer that you wanna mount the spare tire carrier to. And the whole thing's gonna come in two different pieces, really. This back piece with the e-trailer logo and these three square holes is what we're gonna start with. And we wanna put that on the angle iron with the square jutting out. And if you look down below, you'll notice that one of those square holes is probably gonna line up pretty well with that angle iron railing. In our case, it's that bottom one. We'll put our carriage bolt through, add on this large washer and a nylon lock nut, come back through with a 13 millimeter socket and fully tighten that down to secure it in place for now. Right about there is looking good, just enough to keep it steady. We can take the outer piece of our spare tire carrier, feed the square tube into this square tube here. On the back side, there's gonna be a hole for this bolt with flat washer and lock washer. We can start that threading in to the main piece here and tighten it down with a 19 millimeter socket. You may need to go back through with a hand tool just to get yourself some better leverage. But what you're looking for is for that bolt to be all the way down, that split lock washer is crushed down. Right in here, you can see that that bracket is grabbing really well onto the angle iron of our trailer. Now to secure the spare tire on here, you're gonna have two more carriage bolts. These ones much larger than that first one and two slotted holes that these will correspond with, being able to slide back and forth to accommodate different bolt patterns. Your kit's gonna come with these two keepers, one for each carriage bolt that you can thread on, and that's just gonna help hold it in place. If it gets a little bit twisted like this, that's okay. Just work it all the way down, and once it's threaded on, I'll be able to take my hands off and get the spare tire on here a bit more easily, while still being able to slide this back and forth as needed. It could maybe be helpful to have an extra set of hands to lift this up here and get those bolts lined up, but it's not entirely necessary. But if you can get one started, it's pretty easy to get the other one going too. And it mostly holds itself. I'm just gonna get these nylon lock nuts on both to hold it in place a bit better. Come back through with an 18 millimeter socket and tighten them down. Once you've got those tightened down, you're done. It's a pretty simple process to get set up, and if you've got the angle iron on your trailer, then this is a great way to carry a spare tire. But that'll do it for our look at this e-trailer spare tire carrier for angle iron trailers. Thanks for watching.